previously. We are both taking those cards and putting them mutually to zero. Thank goodness. On Progression Series Season 2. Oh my god, and first pack Red Dragon Archfiend Ultimate Rare. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, you got it. sir. I you got it. it, you got it. Wow, both of these openings, bro, not even close to season one. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time, around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, ladies and gentlemen, even though we lost last episode, we're kicking things off this episode with a banning. That's because we spun a ban ticket on the wheel for winning the previous episode or two episodes ago. So as a result, we get to ban a card from the card pool. And boy, oh boy, are Gage fans going to be upset with me today because, spoiler, I'm not going to ban Gladiator Beast Geyserus. I'm going to ban Gladiator Beast Bestiari because this is like a two ban in one because not only is Bestiari a main deck card, Card, but Geyserus requires Bestiari as a requisite material to summon, so bye-bye Bestiari and good luck Gage without your Gladiator Beast this time around. Speaking of which, let's throw it on over to him so he can go ahead and spin his wheel for winning last episode. I think the 5D's era is off to a pretty good start. The Age of Gage is in full swing, moving out into Crossroads of Chaos today. Another very exciting set for the 5D's era, releasing another iconic monster to the card pool in the form of Black Rose Dragon, but I don't have to go over that today. I'll let Alex do all that work. Today, I've got the wheel in front of me, and oh boy, is it a big one. The Duel's Genesis that we just opened last week houses a whole bunch of very integral synchro monsters for early game 5D strategies. I'd love to spin that on the wheel, but hey, just about anything else on this wheel is going to be absolutely killer if I can spin it. Anything better than the rare. I think we got unlucky last time and I got the rare. I'm looking for literally anything better than that. Uh, an unbanned ticket would be absolutely pristine to be able to deal with our best Yari, which is now no longer with us. I got some ideas burning around, so all hope is not lost today, but let's spin the wheel. Let's see what I can get. Give it a couple clicks. Something big, please. Oh man, please anything except the rare. I, you know what? I really can't complain myself because I've used so many of these. Another redoer ticket. I would have loved the promo, Starlight, Snatch Deal. There's a whole bunch of, oh man, unbanned ticket would have been great. But you know what? I can't be greedy. I do desperately need these redoer tickets. This puts me back to three. Hopefully we'll save these a little bit longer this time. Crossroads of Chaos, though, I'll let Alex tell you all about it. Man, it feels great to be the villain sometimes. What is Gage going to do without Gladiator Beast Bestiari? We'll just have to see. But for now, we are going to be discussing Crossroads of Chaos, released November 18th, 2008. And while Duelist Genesis was just an absolute banger way to start off the Synchro era, Crossroads of Chaos was not a bad set either. Starting off here with the Ultra Rares, I mean, look at how many just iconic Ultra Rares we have. We have Titania, we have Plague Spreader, and the all-powerful Black Rose Dragon, which Gage and I are going to be fiending for this episode. I'm not sure if this warrants a redoer ticket in all honesty, but getting Black Rose would be pretty nice. And then we have Doom Kaiser Dragon and Revive King Hades as well. If we do need Plague Spreader for both of these, but you know, these are just Edison staples at this point. Moving on down to the rares, I, there actually are a couple notable ones here. Iron Chain Dragon and Psychic Life Transfer are both generic, I believe. And so the fact that these are rares makes them quite accessible, allowing us to expand our synchro pool and giving us more options to be able to use in the extra deck. And some decent cards in here as well, like Miracle Fertilizer, Pride for War, and, you know, just some other Morphtronic stuff. Some stuff that if we get a high enough density of these specific archetype cards that we could possibly build around. Continuing on with the Super Rares, uh, these are okay. There's nothing
nothing like too crazy here like Queen of Thorns, Black Garden, Secret Village. These are all like okay, but again, a little bit conditional. I think this is probably the lowest impact out of everything in the set. So we're going to hope we can avoid these for the most part. Of course, we have the Ghost Rare Black Rose, which knowing our luck, we're probably going to pull. And then the Secret Rares. A few of these are actually quite relevant. Treacherous Trap Hole, Time Machine, Gladiator Beast, Red Yari would be very funny, but obviously uh, with Best Yari gone, I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be. I think those are the only notable ones. Obviously, everyone knows Tempest Magician for the FDKs, but I don't think that's too viable in this series. There's actually quite a few decent commons in the set as well. I mean, you have stuff like Copy Plant, you have Psychic Jumper, you have Nettles, even stuff like Gigantic Cephalotus, Botanical Girl. Like, some of these are cards are actually okay. Card Rotator isn't the worst. Like, for a series like this, these are probably outclassed by many other cards, but they're at least playable at the very least. And Goes in Match is actually maybe the best common of the set. And if it's not relevant this episode, I'm sure Gage and I will be playing this in the future at the very least. But for now, we have three packs of Champion Pack 7 to redeem for losing last episode. Pack number one, we get an Instant Fusion, but I think we already have this. Sadly, we have Shovel Crusher and Memory Crusher as our other two. Let's see what we get in our second pack, an Ancient Rules and the exact same two commons there. Third pack, can we let's get a Hollow? I would prefer that. Wow, what the actual fuck? We got three Shovel Crushers, two Instant Fusions. I mean, this is just actually depressing, but that's what we get for losing, ladies and gentlemen. 24 packs of Crossroads of Chaos coming right up. All right, another big 5D set here. We have Crossroads of Chaos. I love the artwork of this set. I actually have a box in my display case back there. Kind of neat. You could only get first editions of these packs in the collector tins this year. You couldn't get them in booster boxes unless they were European, I'm pretty sure. All right, 24 packs. Let's see what we get from Crossroads of Chaos. Plague Spreader Zombie, Black Rose Dragon, Iron Chain Dragon. Those are the big ones I'm looking for. Flip them up. Off the bat, none of those, but that's okay. Things have been not good so far, these first five packs. Uh, I've got nothing that's really stood out to me so far, even in the common slot. I know there's not a lot of really relevant commons, but there are a few that I should be looking for. Got a super right now, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. I'm recently playing this in my spellbook deck, but at the moment in this time in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, I don't think Secret Village is that playable at all. Another unfortunate thing is this does get multiple reprints in the future too. So I think when it does become useful, we'll have multiple other chances to get it. All right, 24 packs of Crossroads of Chaos. Let's see the Black Rose in the very first pack. Sadly, no, we did get a super rare, Goka the Pyre of Malice. Pride for War, though, isn't terrible. I think, sadly, there are better cards that could fill this card's slot, but this is a decent rare. There's our first copy of Goes in Match. I am looking to get a play set of that. Psychic Jumper is not a terrible card either, and Iron Chain Repairman is like, if you're gonna go down this route, is actually like an okay card. Copy Plant's also a good one, too. Oh, and an ultimate rare Doom Kaiser Dragon. Now, the problem is if we don't get Plague Spreader, this is actually worthless to us, but this is pretty cool. I'm happy to see this. Prideful Roar is not too bad for Gladiator Beast. It's actually going to be something that guarantees we can get over anything in battle. Unfortunately, with Bestiary at zero, we're not going to be able to consider Gladiator Beast at the moment. There it is. Iron Chain Dragon is one of the very, very few generic synchros that we have at the moment. Uh, I have zero synchro monsters in my pool right now, so adding one to the mix, uh, even just Iron Chain, which really doesn't do much, it's okay. Goes in Match 2 is an insanely good floodgate that I'd love to have multiple copies of to try something with. Yes, this card is, uh, it's very not good, but it is a generic six, so nice to have it. That's my third, I just flipped up two more in a row, so I have three Iron Chain Dragons if I had any shortage of them before. I need a Life Transfer, that'd be a nice other one to have. Oh, and we got the Ghost Rare Black Rose, baby! Let's go! Our Synchro Pool is looking nice. Now, again, we need to find a way to facilitate this because, like, our tuners aren't the best, but damn, if there's a payoff for Synchros, that is it. And it's the Ghost Rare. And it's first if we were going based off of this actually being a real opening, but that's insane. Super sick pickup. We're definitely not respinning this. Second copy of Goka, hilarious considering that there's like seven or eight other supers that could have been, but uh, I mean, we have black, the only way this gets better is if we get multiple black rows. Okay, Psychic Life Transfer. Usually I don't talk about the rares unless they're relevant, but this one is. It's a generic seven. Uh, people who play modern Yu-Gi-Oh! might know this because of the life gain effect, hilariously enough, but it's just a 2400 level seven synchro. And yes, Black Rose is that too, but Black Rose is meant to like nuke the board. This can actually just stick and the life gain can sometimes be relevant and you typically play Krebon, so, or uh, what's the other one? The level three, the, that, that one just to go with your four. So you're gonna have a Psychic to be able to trigger this. Psychic Commander, now I remember the name. Uh, the rest of this pack doesn't really look too relevant, but Psychic Commander was the card I was thinking of. <laughs> 
I think that's my second Gozen match. This opening has been atrocious so far. Dude, I haven't spoken much of it. There hasn't been anything to really say. Hey, Rose, Warrior of Revenge, okay? A level four, I'm pretty sure this is just at this point, just a generic tuner. Uh, inflicts battle damage, deal 300. Yeah, but it's a level four tuner. Uh, one at the moment where I think there's very little of them. I unfortunately will not have the chance to play Rose in anything because I have no synchro monsters to be able to pair with it. It's a nice tuner to have, but nothing I can really do with it at the moment. All right, coming up on the last pack here. I am quite disappointed with this Crossroads of Chaos opening, but there is a 0% chance that I mulligan these packs. There's no shot that I need to get anything except like Black Rose from here, and even that's a reach. I don't really need it. There's one card, Red Ogre. I was looking for a common Red Ogre. I don't think I got it. What a, what a weird opening. I did get my third Gozen match though. I can tell that. That's my third copy of it. I'll save it to the collection. These 24 packs of Crossroads of Chaos. Let's hope it does as well. Let's see what we're building today. Coming up in our last few packs here, and there's a super psychic trigger. We also have Gozen match as well. I think that rounds out our playset of that. Activate only when your life points are lower than your opponent's. So like two psychics. Uh, this is not really that good. Uh, it's an interesting card though, but uh, kind of cool artwork, I guess. Last three packs. Let's just go ahead and send it see what we get i guess we got a second one because we thought it was so great the first time around uh if we got another black rose in these last two packs i would absolutely lose it flip it up black garden we just got back to back to back hollows can't really complain there and uh last pack again anything great i think i would like iron chain the most that would be the best way to round this out did not get it though sadly we got the psychic life transfer i can't complain we got doom kaiser which is useless to us but we did get the black rose dragon which is somewhere down here hopefully i can find it i think i just skipped over it at some point there it is there's the black rose so we're adding this to the collection and boy, do we've got some work to do in deck building today, but I've got a fun idea. We are looking at something completely off the wall today. I know. Let me introduce you to Mausoleum Control, something completely off the wall from what we were testing last week with Gladiator Beasts. We can't touch that Gladiator Beast strategy anymore with Bestiaria 1, so we had to get a little bit experimental. And I, this is the one list that I settled on that I think was pretty fun. I've been able to pull from my chat different ideas, and this is the one that somebody tossed to me. We unfortunately fell on the wrong side of the stick with getting multiple copies of Vanity's Ruler, but we did get a couple of Vanity these fiends to be able to summon here. The whole point of this deck is to be able to use either Alex's monsters with cards like Soul Exchange, Brain Con, as well as Snatch Steel, and pair them with uh, just massive tribute summon dudes that are so hard to deal with. Vanity's Fiend is obviously a monarch level threat that's going to be pretty difficult for Alex to topple over. Uh, pair it with a card like My Body as a Shield, Magic Jammer to protect it from getting taken or destroyed. Um, might just be impossible for him to deal with. Mausoleum the Emperor is the field spell that allows us to be able to get these big dudes on the field for free, just paying life points to essentially slap them on the field here. Um, we have a whole bunch of high end guys here. Like I said on the low end of Vanity's Ruler, we only had one of them, but we got copies of Mechanical Hound to be able to play here, which Mechanical Hound reads if we have no cards in our hand, our opponent can't activate spell cards. A little bit more difficult to get to that point, I think, since we're going to be clogged up with some of the heavier guys. If we drop them in succession every turn, though, might end up working out. Our win con for the stack, besides utilizing cards that Alex has and everything to maybe incrementally outvantage him, is a card like Last Turn, which Last Turn, when uh, we're at a thousand life points or less, we can flip this thing up. If we have Vanity's Fiend on the field, Alex straight up loses the game because he can't summon anything and we will win at that point. Same kind of deal with Vanity's Ruler if we can stick that. Uh, that's going to be our win con in the one card there, but I think altogether we should be able to outlast Alex anyways. I'm unsure if this list is going to be extremely good or bad, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's try it out and see if it works. We'll come back with something a little bit more experimental next week. All right, so last week may not have gone so hot, but this time not only is Gage most likely not gonna play Glads, I guess it's technically playable without Bestiari, but I think we made our deck a little bit more well-rounded and we're trying something else different. So I actually decided to adopt a zombie strategy for this episode because I wanted to try out a few things, namely the fact that with the zombie engine being Pyramid Turtle and Ryukoki, we can access level sixes. Paired with our tuners, we can actually get into something like Red Dragon Archfiend quite easily. And so by being able to access by having tons of special summoning through either stuff like Pyramid Turtle, the recruiters like Giant Rat and Mystic Tomato, but also being able to special summon with Limit Reverse and Book of Life, we're going to have several plays that we could do in a turn instead of just like normal summon pass, which sort of is what happened to us last episode. And so I figured we'd give it a shot. Let's do the card by card. So of course, we're going to have just powerhouse staples like Breaker. Card Trooper is good because we are playing st uh, zombies, which we want to just get into the graveyard anyway. Then we're playing, non-ironically, Comrade Swordsman of Landstar. Now, you might be wondering, why are you not playing? Psychic Commander. Well, the reason is both of these are Earth level 3 tuners, but this one only has 500 attack, which means it can actually be resurrected fittingly, based off the card art, with Limit Reverse. And as a result of that, that means that if this is in the graveyard at any point, we now have access to a level 3 tuner, either through Limit Reverse or through Premature Burial, where Psychic Commander is a better target just because it's a better body off of something like Giant Rat as well, but we don't have the ability to bring it back aside from Premature Burial. I wanted to have targets that Limit Reverse can actually have access to outside of something like Disc 
commander to give us a more diverse pool of cards that we can resurrect. So that's why this is here. Then we have DD Warrior Lady for removal. Dark Arm, we're playing a bunch of darks. This makes sense. This commander, because it draws us a ton of cards. Giant Rat. Rat searches for like 90% of this deck, which is why we're playing more of this than uh, Tomato. And then we have Jute Fighter. So again, same logic. Krebons has more than a thousand attacks, so we can't get this back with Limit Reverse. Krebons is also a bit weird just because, again, we don't have like emergency teleport. So this would be like the go-to, but I like Jute Fighter just because we can get it off of Giant Rat. It's our target for Limit Reverse. It also has an effect that isn't terrible. Once per turn, you can change a face-up attack position monster your opponent controls to face-up defense. Some monsters just have really low defense compared to their attack, so this could be quite relevant. Then we have Krebon's Magical Scientist. This is the dream combo I'm hoping for here. I'm hoping if we have like Limit Reverse Scientist that we got off of like Tomato or Giant Rat or like one of the tuners, we can have the uh, Scientist summon like a six, and then we can normal summon like Jute Fighter, synchro that into Red Dragon Archfiend, Limit Reverse back the Jute Fighter, then Scientist again pay for like a five and then go into something like Psychic Life Transfer. That just seems insane to me. So I really hope we can pull off that combo. We got two tomatoes to get the darks. Uh, Grand Mole is just a great rat target and it's good just for dealing with big things in general. Two turtles, two Ryukokis. Uh, we only have two turtles, otherwise I'd play three. Sangen and Spirit Reaper. Then for the spells, Book of Life is just another monster reborn effectively, but only for like Pyramid Turtle, Ryukoki, and Spirit Reaper, but that's fine. Brain Control is nice. We have a nice diversity of cards that we can take. Creature Swap, we do play a lot of tiny guys, and so Creature Swap could be good just for taking Gage's biggest for our smallest. Dark Cold True the Harpy's Feather Duster, MSE, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, one Smashing, and a Snatch Deal. And then I decided to actually bump up the trap count because I feel like not having any interaction on Gage's turn was actually hurting us a bit. So on bottomless, the double limit reverse. There's so many targets for this. We have a level three tuner. We have a draw two cards. We have a level two tuner. Magical Scientist is a target for this as well, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget that. We can get Grand Mole back. We can get Sangen. We can get Reaper. So we have like seven-ish targets for this, which is actually pretty good. Ring, Triple Sack, and Torrential. The side deck is just full of cards that, depending on what Gage is playing, we may side into. Double Book, a second creature swap, Fisher, a Pot of Avarice, Triple Twister, and Double Dust in case he's on some sort of like back row deck. Double Pulling the Rug in case he wants to go back to Monarch, and Triple Threatening War, I guess primarily for if he goes to Glad's again, but just mainly for not getting OTK'd. And then for the extra deck, we just have everything we need for Magical Scientist and our four Synchros and Black Rose, Magical Android, Life Transfer, and Archfiend. I think this deck's pretty sick. Is it going to work? I don't know. We'll have to see, but anything's possible. So let's go ahead and not make you guys wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, 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 Gage, I know you're just living it up over there with your first victory in the 5Ds era. Congratulations. I can tell you it's not going to last long. And uh, especially with my banning for this episode, uh, not making it easy for you, my friend. Oh, huh? yeah, man. Had to switch up some strategies after that ban. That was a little rough one. But let me tell you, a good way to start off the 5Ds era with the Age of Gage. I'll kick it off strong. Don't worry, man. I got high hopes for Crossroads of Chaos here, too. How are you, how you feeling about Crossroads of Chaos, by the way? Uh, I think the set's like all right i think it's a little bit top heavy like you've got cards like plague spreader black rose dragon doom sure. kaiser revived hazes all these cards are great back in the day but they're all in the ultra rare like better slot so they're a little difficult to come by it also doesn't help too that uh the two you just mentioned plague uh i'm sorry doom kaiser and revive king also need plague spreader yeah. so like if you want to <laughs> play them good luck right yeah not but really easy not very easy at all but uh yeah i agree with you it's no duelist genesis but i still think there are some very sought after cards in this set that we are looking for and uh, maybe we'll be seeing some of those cards today. Who knows? Let's go ahead and uh, shout the patron and find out. I'm going to butcher this. This person's name is in Polish, uh, so I'm not going to get this right in the slightest because uh, I am Polish, as you are too, Gage. Przemysla Mujaszki. Thank you yeah. for the support. I didn't think that's too bad, but I'm, I'm going to get just actually canceled by the Polish community after it this. It was worth a shot, worth a shot. It was <laughs> worth a shot. I know that I just, I know there's no chance. My grandpa would speak Polish and it just, I you could never understand anything he was saying. All right, well, the die roll, buddy. How are you feeling? All right. I feel like going second is still going to be the way to go. I think you made a huge mistake last I did. time. Just, uh, In retrospect, I made a huge mistake yeah. going first. Yeah. I'm going to take my free card. I think it's too strong, so I'll go okay. second. I'm curious to see what you are up to considering Glads are, I mean, they're playable, but I don't know how playable they are by comparison. So we'll best see. of luck, buddy. We'll see. Good luck. I'm just going to go to main one. I'm just going to set one and throw it back. All right. I will draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. All right, man, let's get wacky. I'll start off. I'm going to activate Instant Fusion, paying 1,000 life points. I'm down. Okay, sure. What are we All cooking? Right. Off the Instant Fusion, I'm going to summon literally a vanilla. Okay. We'll go Cherubin the Fire Knight. I'll immediately tribute off Cherubin for Rise of the Storm Monarch. 
Okay, we're just getting right into it, aren't Let we? Let me just stack that to the top. Put it back there. Yeah, uh, it's going to the top. Can't much do much about that. Outstanding. 24 to the dome. 24 to the dome. Looks like we're back on the Monarchs. Yes, sir. I will go main two. I'll add a set card, and I'll pass it to you, buddy. All right, I will draw main one. Now I have to think how I have to deal with one of my favorite cards. I've got a couple answers. I just don't know what the best answer is of them. I think I'm just gonna just set and pass. <laughs> All right, no problem. I will draw for turn. Standby phase into the main phase. Let's see here. All right, well, I'm gonna get aggressive. I'm gonna see if it pays off. I'm gonna normal okay. summon Spirit Reaper. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna be nasty. Battle sure. phase, Ryza in. It's Sangan, so okay. you are gonna get to hit here, but I do get an extra card to insulate my hand a bit. Uh, question is now, what do I want to add that's gonna get me out of this situation, I think? Doesn't matter what you add, too. I have a chance of dumping it right away. That is true. That is very true. Then part of me is also thinking, do I add something with the thought in mind it could get ripped out of my hand? Maybe I want it in the grave. Yeah, add, what, what's the card called? Electric Snake? <laughs> 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 it's a bit rough, Gage, I'll be honest. Uh, I think I'm going to grab Mr. Tomato here. All right, the tomato's fine. I'll hit you with three. I'll take the three. Let's see what All you're right. hitting. We'll go one through five, okay? Okay, I will say this is going to be a very big hit here. Two, so we'll go this one. Okay, it was DD Warrior Lady. Oh, Not bad. Uh, that's Could've actually, I, I'm really happy with that. I'll take that one for sure. I'll go main two. I'll just set a card and I'll pass it to you, bud. Go ahead. All right, we'll draw. Let's go to main one. Let's try to do some cleanup duty. A little bit dark hole action, huh? Uh, it won't cut it. I will activate my body as a shield. On the my body. Okay. Okay. That's pretty nasty, actually. Well, I'm going to run out this tomato. Sure. Uh, I'm just going to try to get some damage in. Sure. I'll take however much is this? What? This 11? is 11. Sure. No problem. And then second main, I'll throw down a card. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. I will go standby main. All right. Well, I guess I'll go for it. I'm going to activate brain con. Give me that tomato. Gross. God damn it. Yeah, it's fine. All right. No guts, no glory. I'm going to run straight into your torrential. No problem. I'm gonna <laughs> He's go going to go witch. <laughs> yeah, and then I will sure. go battle phase. We'll go in sequential order. 300. So 25, 49, 52. This isn't lethal unless you have ring of destruction. So that's interesting, which means you probably have ring. Otherwise, you wouldn't make this play. You could also just want to get super aggressive here just to put me like in a corner. Uh, I'm going to ring your Reaper. Yeah. OK, that's fine. We'll both okay. take three. So then uh, I don't think we well, take actually, anything because not, not right? Reaper anything, will just yeah. destroy itself. Let me read this real quick. No, we still take the damage. Oh, we still take the damage. It's on resolution. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So we're okay. both taking the three still. Both take three and then I'll just run everything in. All right. Show me the ring. I... I miscounted. I don't have it. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. No, you, you were worried about nothing there. I thought I had it right there. You're at 100. Right, I'm on 100 life points. Yeah, you're, you're on a dream right now. Let me see what you got. But um, I am going to have to pass it back to you. So oh my God, there's, there's your tomato. There's hope. There's <laughs> there's hope. hope. Okay. Go ahead. There's cards that do it. There's cards that do it. Uh, I don't think that does it. All right. I'm going to put the tomato to defense. I'm going to set one. And I'm going to set one. I'll throw it back. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. You live another turn, you little rascal. I will go <laughs> I'll go battle phase. I'll go, um I don't really want you to get this search off tomato. Uh I'm gonna just you've already used Sangin too though. Um Correct. I'm gonna go rise into the face down. It is Pyramid Turtle. Oh, I haven't seen the turd in a minute. All right. Okay. We're going to grab ourselves. I feel like I'm gonna regret this decision as soon as I make it. Uh, I'm gonna go Koki. Okay, um, I'll go main two. I mean, yeah, I guess this is just the play. It has to be. I'll tribute the Ryza for Dark Dust Spirit. And bounce everything? Oh, it destroys, destroys everything. everything. Excuse everything. Me. Yeah, it destroys that's everything. Right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, um, cool. Trigger it's Witch. Trigger Witch, which is pretty strong. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, none of these cards are good. Oh, man. Uh, I, I've got to reveal to you what I'm playing in a minute here, I think. That is uh, true. I mean, I, it seems like you're on Monarch to me at this point, but... I'll pick up Vanity Fiend. You, are you just on, like... You're on every tribute. I could, I could make a bit, you, you have no idea what I'm on, man. I could be on is, anything. I will go... You're just on Tribute Turbo. I'm a little upset I'm going to give you more life, but I am. I'm going to upstart. Okay, sure. And then I'll just go to the end phase. I'll put this Dust Spirit back and pass to you. So Vanity's Dust Spirit. One card I don't know. One set. Okay. I'll draw. Main one. Uh, Dark Arm Dragon. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, activate. Let's yep. get rid of... Let's get rid of Tomato. Yep. 
What was it? It was, it was magic, magic Jammer. Jam. The fuck? <laughs> All right, slam in there. Twenty. Yeah, I'll take twenty-eight. No sweat. Yeah, I wish I could kill you. Unfortunately. Yeah, I bet no, you. I do, did not bro. think this game was gonna be this close, uh, buddy. I hope you have something, but I'm gonna take it. Oh <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, okay. All right, I'll go. Uh, dad effect. Banish spirit no, reaper. Two fuck. fuck. <laughs> mm. No. I can't salty believe that, I that lost one. That. Oh my. Oh, Gage, that was probably cathartic karmic justice for every one of your followers for season one of Prague. That felt disgusting. Holy shit. I don't even care about the dust spirit. I think that that turned on my dad. So honestly, that was fine. It was the, it was the snatch deal is all it was. But sometimes, bro, you got everything. Let me tell you, you snatch got steel. Yep. Snatch all steel. Right. I all get right, the bud. extra card. So this time I get everything. Let's you do. You, you do. Let's see what I can get cooking with here. I'm going to upstart goblin to start my turn. I'll draw a okay. card. I will just set a card, set another one, and uh, I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we'll draw. Main one. Not a... Huh. I've had better starts, say. Uh, I will just mimic your move. Go ahead. All right. No problem. I'll draw. Stand by main. All right. Let's get cooking here. I'm going to tribute off my Witch of the Black Forest for Vanity's Fiend. Um, okay. So I imagine you're going to use your Witch effect here. I will. Yes, sir. I'm just going to chain Torrential. I'm going to chain my body as a shield. Okay. We'll take 15. I will. And just wait till I topple over this silly little tomato you set. That is true. Um, okay. Off of my Witch of the Black Forest, I will pull up a copy of... We'll get aggressive. I'll go Spirit Reaper. Sure. Okay. Uh, battle phase. Let me just beat over this face down. This tomato, you called it. Yes, sir. That's huge with the fiend, too. All right. I will just go main phase two, and I'll pass it to you. Go ahead, bud. We'll draw. This is bad. Uh, but you know what? Vanity's Fiend doesn't stop. Crebons. <laughs> it doesn't beat Crebons. You're right. I don't beat Crebons. I will Go draw. Ahead. Stand by main. I really don't beat Crebons. I <laughs> um, I'll just uh, I'll set a card. I'll go battle phase and force out an eight. I'll pay the eight. Yeah, I mean. Yep. All right. To. Go ahead. Your turn. Okay. Got to clear this idiot at some point. All right. Main one. I got to think. I feel like I'm in a major rush, but I kind of just want to do this. Uh, Sure. I'm going to true nade. Yeah, true nade's fine. I'm going to sack Krebons for Koki. Okay, yeah. Crash into Fiend. Yep, got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do. It's major neg, but that's what it is. Uh, second main, I am going to Book of Life my Koki. Yeah, okay. Would you want to banish the Vanity's Fiend or the Witch? Probably Witch, because Fiend can't be special summoned. So. Sure can. All right. You might be able to add it back, but if you can, that's fine. Um, so we'll bring Koki back. And we'll just pass. All right, bud. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll just reset my face down card. Yep. And I'll just pass it to you. Go ahead. Probably don't have much to fear because you know, or rather, I'm assuming the set is a copy of Reaper. So I need to out that, which fortunately, I think I have a way to do so. I'm going to normal summon a card I guarantee you've probably never seen before. Jute Fighter. Yeah, you're actually right. Let me read. The <laughs> it's a tuner. Uh it's a tuner. Change one face-up attack position monster your opponent controls to face-up. Okay. Yeah, sure. We're going for it. Oh, he's sinking. Oh, he's, my. The boy is here. The, the Red Dragon Archfiend. The Red Yo, Dragon Archfiend is made oh, an appearance. Oh, my God. All right, cool. Yeah, RDA is sick. No problem. Go for it. All right, he's flipping up. Yep. Okay. After damage calc, effective Red Dragon Archfiend. Yep. Never thought right. I'd see we the cleared day, it. Man. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. All right, after putting a billion resources into this REA, <laughs> I feel bad, bro, because I'm going to activate Soul Exchange. <laughs> oh, man. It was cool while it lasted. All right, he's I'll gone. tribute it off for Mobius, and I'll Mobius the one face down. I'll ring the Mobius. So I, I the mean, 24. yeah, that's fine. Sure, no problem. Um, we'll both take 24, yep. Yeah, take your 24. I got it. I got him getting there. All right. I'm not going to take 24 just to pop your Mobius. Come on. All right, bud. You're down to one card. Go I'm ahead. I'm down to turn. one card. That's, you know what? I mean, it's a good one, at least. It's oh, bad. it is a good one. Yeah, he gets in there. All right, 14. No sweat. That's damage, at least. Go ahead. Drop. Stand by main. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to activate brain control. I'm going to take oh the rat. Oh, my God. Dude, you just sack him off. Just sack I, him I, off. I'll get there. I'm going to activate instant fusion. Sure. Pay a thousand. Okay. And I'll, I'll throw an extra guy into the mix there. I'll right. tribute Who them you both. Say, Matt, what, Vanity's ruler? Oh my <laughs> yeah. god, it is Vanity's ruler. The fuck? My man, get in there, bro. Jesus Christ. 25 for the ruler. I can All special, right. but I you can't, can't believe I get to fucking do this to you. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude! I can't believe it! No, it was Jammer! Oh, the Jammer! Oh my god! That's why he has the Jammer for the stats! Yes! Oh my no god! No monster! This no has monster. worked out no monster. tremendously! If you're lucky, you get another okay, turn there, I get a but... turn! I get a turn! There's a chance! Please, please, if there's any justice in the world. Did he do it? Yes! Oh, dude, this deck was so dumb. I can't believe it. Koki creature. If I had any monster <laughs> that was normal summonable, enough. I could have fucking swapped it for ruler. What's the next card? Oh, Tur my oh God. there he is. Fuck, oh, and then I would have had the vanities God. ruler. It's so funny. I had this stuff like built into my main to like out these gigantic idiots. And of course, I draw the second fucking Koki and get punished for it. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Dude, this deck was dumb, bro. I don't know how it worked <sighs> out. Oh, man. You didn't even see the win con. So besides summoning just big this, dudes. These aren't the win con? <laughs> no. I, the win con's last turn. Oh, my God. This Okay, now I, that's how I know Joseph came up with this fucking deck. Yeah, <laughs> no. so you're playing his vanity speed, vanities ruler, and then last turn right because then i can't summon anything yeah yeah so like yeah. the whole point is like in brewing this deck like my chat helped me with it the one thing that came up is like the big outs for like cards like vanity's fiend or ruler or like your your board wipes like dark hole smashing ground sure, and stuff like sure. that which my body protects my body put in major work but also cards like magic jammer deal with the snatch deal and the brain con and the other stuff that's gonna just absolutely decimate me i didn't even get to play the things that make like these cards easy to summon like the instant fusion and stuff is cute spirit reaper's good but like it's mausoleum like mausoleum, mausoleum the emperor yeah. is supposed to get these things this. out yeah yeah so I I, yep. I play like the three terraforming and everything to get to, and I just didn't see the card. Not that I really needed it, but that was the whole point of this deck is to to abuse these high tribute monsters and hopefully stick them. Jesus Christ, I got fucking slaughtered. Uh, like I don't even feel like I did that bad this episode. Like every you just had answers for everything. Yeah. You my bodied me on a dark hole, and you my bodied me on a TT. Uh, you had like the vanities to be able to stop me from specialing, and I had to commit a ton of resources into crashing. At one point, I was just considering just sitting on Krebons and just waiting to draw a card that was just gonna like out it without having to commit into like going cokey crash and then like book of lifing it back because i knew you would spirit reaper so i couldn't just sit on an empty board because then you rip a card out of my hand uh so it's just like it felt like everything you had was just like wet just well positioned to like take out the stuff that i was up to so what i was doing is if you like hadn't already figured it out i basically played like a little zombie synchro deck if you will because like red dragon archery is kind of hard to summon but he's such a cool card oh yeah so having um just a bunch of tuners but then the zombie access i can easily summon into cokey off of turtle or giant rat you know through that means mm -hmm. and then i can just take one of my tuners go into eight that's pretty cool but even so they just help me generate bodies onto the field and then in addition to that you'll actually appreciate this so the reason i was on this terrible jute fighter card which to be fair i think the effect could maybe come up but unfortunately your fucking vanity sphere had like 1200 defense and i and krebons had 1200 attack so i couldn't yeah. just like <laughs> summon this turn it to defense and krebons hit over it that didn't work i was also not ironically on <laughs> comrade swordsman of landstar uh oh and so the <laughs> okay. reason for this, you're probably thinking like, okay, why not just play Krebons and play Psychic Commander, right? So the reason is uh, they're targets for uh, Limit Reverse. So this yep. way, if the tuners are in Grave, I can resurrect them and have more means to get the tuners back. So I can go like summon a Koki or summon a four, Limit Reverse back Jute or Comrade, and that's an easy six or an eight, this or a, uh, six or seven just off of that. Or I can get to Koki a lot easier to make Red Dragon Archfiend. So I kind of went for this like sort of spammy zombie synchro-y deck, but then having you having Ruler and Fiend just like totally fucked with that entirely so here we are uh well-deserved win well-deserved win how are the pulls out of crossroads of chaos awful I didn't get anything. Bro. I didn't get, I did not get a single card worth noting at all. It was not good. <laughs> this is so funny how you're winning every episode of five D's thus far, yet your pulls have been atrocious. <laughs> uh huh. It's been, it's been really bad. I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, I didn't get anything good in crossroads of chaos, nothing good in dual Genesis. And I'll save you the weight, bro. My wheel was not great either. I got Thank a redoer ticket, which is, it's nice okay. to have because I yeah. need them, but you but also I burned through them quite quickly. Oh so my it's, God. It's very nice for you. To but have. I would have preferred anything else, dude, especially sure. with dual Genesis, you know, any other secret rare ultra rare wild cards those things are yeah. huge to have this early but it is what it is you know yeah for me uh so i got a psychic life transfer i you didn't get this i got a, i got iron chain dragon i got three of them but i didn't I, get to be fair chain dragon's transfer. pretty good it's yeah. at least a generic good i think it's like 2500 attack dude, i think it big. is 25 too yeah i pulled the ghost black Rose, oh I got it. <laughs> dude, dang so, you're on a roll with these synchros i know 
So all the more reason that I wanted to try just some sort of synchro engine because just having access to Black Rose to me just seemed like a missed opportunity to not play it. Uh, and again, that's why I was on like the level three tuners because most of my deck is four. So I just needed access. But yeah, against Vanity Fiend and Vanity's Ruler, they're not going to do jack diddly shit, unfortunately. So uh, well-deserved win. That puts you on a two win streak. And uh, if I lose next week, fuck, I'm going to the banning. Yeah, I, I uh, you're in First trouble. First three episodes of 5Ds and I'll be in the banning already. I'm going to have to ban fucking Vanity Fiend next after this <laughs> yeah get rid of it Christ. <laughs> so guys that's gonna wrap it up for another video i really hope you all enjoyed let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support so shout out to shout out 1317 moto tim 003 cameron smith mbt play medulce chaotic meatball part two pony starks the synchro guy dan the man hoban i ship mbt and simo draconic phoenix the immortal jordan coons iron bladesman jesse wood chris hood david Liu, dylan hunter cody bretts john two based extremely vulgar man brody eastwood zerius business mbt caught injecting his fairy lily carlos dt flannel daddy valen jack and Hornet, aren't you glad I didn't say Alpha Tribute Ben 10? TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeve stat. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild Wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM, BTQ, Nim Noodle, Malbranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT, cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting, and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs, IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Simus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable, Two Men Selling, Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cutout, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.